43 years in JNU. You retired uh, about 10 years ago. Yeah. And now you work uh, with the uh, War, War Widows, Widows Association. Ji. Tell me about that. Uh, Firstly, you mentioned that there are close to around 30,000 War Widows. Uh, uh, yeah. 27 to 30,000. 30, this what, yeah. The number is, 30, was. Yeah. So, uh, basically after I was close to, when I was finishing, by chance I met uh, uh, Dr. Mohini Giri. Uh, daughter-in-law of uh, the president, president of Bibi Giri. And she asked me, oh, oh, do you get pension? I said, yes. She said, how much? I said, uh, 1400. She said, that's very little. So I said, I don't know. That's what I get. So she said, no, I think you should get 30, 35, 40. I said, I, I, what should I do? She said, just write a letter to, I said, to whom? She said, write to the prime minister. Now, after having got such <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, no response kind for on every time, I had no faith really, honestly. So, she said, no, no, write to the Prime Minister. So, I sent a letter. So, that sort of gradually got sorted out. But then, uh, then she, when I finished my work there, she said, come and uh, work with us here. So, I was uh, secretary there. Uh, they have three years tenure for three terms. So, nine years as secretary. And after that, I am a president now for the last uh, three, four years. But the basic thing is that I had... I could live my life because uh, fortunately I was educated, my parents were educated and uh, I had that determination that I have to find out something. Uh, as we discussed, not knowing is a, is a more uh, is worse. painful thing. So I managed my life but then after coming here I thought there could be ladies who are not able to, I mean I myself hadn't yeah, because had I was getting 1400. And at one time, I was getting only 350 rupees. So, I wrote a letter and uh, I went to the defense minister's house. And of course, those days, you could not just walk, go and meet anybody. Oh, neither can you now. No. And I gave it to the guard on the uh -huh. gate and sent a letter inside to say that 350 rupees, I can't even buy my breakfast for the entire month. So, I'm uh, donating this in uh -huh. the Senic uh, welfare, whatever mm. it is. I was getting 500 rupees in JNU and I thought I can manage. But this 300 I can do without. So that was the time. But uh, of course, uh, I met Mohini ji and she said that now that you have finished, you have time. It will be nice if you come here and help in the association. So since then, I am uh, uh, working with the War Widows Association. And it's, it's a nice satisfying feeling because um, I could manage whichever way I did. Uh, but I feel uh, there are cases where they need help. And it's, it's, it's a very nice feeling for me that I've been able to help somebody. So that's, uh, that's the way I spend my uh, time, free time, let's say. In fact, most of my time now <laughs> going so there. So I'm just trying to wrap my head around this. You lost, well, you lost your husband when you were 23. Yes. And this is more than 50 years. Yes. That you've been at it. <laughs> In a way, yes. Mentally, um, I mean, there are, uh, I'll not say that I'd, I'm not upset. There are times I'm very upset. But uh, the, th the thought is that even if it was one and a half years, I, it was enough for me to survive the rest of my life. Not in hindsight, I managed. So, he is there in my mind and my heart non-stop. But that doesn't stop me from doing my normal chores and going and helping anybody. And I just pray to God that keep me healthy enough so that I am able to do something good for others, for this country if I can. My last